Hi everyone, Rat Drew here. I had a question yesterday in the webinar about how to add textures to the Topaz Studio 2 app. Uh, when you purchase Studio 2, it comes with a bunch of textures already that you can apply to your images. But let's say you've created your own textures or you've purchased textures um, that are available. Um, Jackie Kramer has a new collection called the Sapphire Collection. Uh, I've used some of um, uh, Topaz, uh, or I'm sorry, Flypaper Textures is a favorite of mine. Kathleen Clemens has a wonderful series of textures. Um, what I'm going to do is show you how to add some of those if you've if you've purchased them or made them on your own. So first of all, you have to have an image in the uh, Topaz Studio interface. And we're going to come up to add filter over here on the right panel. And I'm going to click on that and add a texture adjustment right here. And when I do, it brings in my textures. Notice it's applied a texture that was already selected to this image. And here are all the different textures that are already there. But here's how you add new textures to this collection. Right here is a little icon, uh, square with an arrow in it. And if you point to it, it'll tell you that it, this is how you open the, the texture category manager. So I'm gonna click on that. And there is the manager. Um, and what I'm gonna do, first of all, I wanna show you how you can delete textures from this if you want. So here are um, here is a little small collection from Distressed FX called Lovers. And if I click on that, you'll see there are four textures that I've imported already. I'm going, I wanna delete those. Um, and so if you have textures that you wanna remove, you simply click on the trash can here and it will give you an opportunity to say, yep, I wanna delete those textures and it will take them out. So now if you wanna add new textures, we're gonna come down here to the add category button and I'm gonna click on that. And I wanna add, I wanna re-add those, those textures back in. So I'm gonna name this category. I'm gonna name it the same as what I just deleted. So distressed FX L-O-V-E-R-S, distressed FX lovers. And you want to name it something so that you can find it. In this case, I have a bunch of distressed FX things. So I notice here, I actually, I named them. Maybe I'll do that. I've got others that I've named just D-I-S-T. So I think I'll do that. So now they'll appear in the list alphabetically uh, next to each other. So distressed FX lovers and OK. So now there's my label, but there's nothing in it yet. So I'm going to go and tap on import texture. And it's going to take me, I'm using a Mac, so it's going to take me out to my finder. And I'm just going to type the name of the folder that those textures are in. So distressed, um, let's see where to go. Come on. There it is. It's called texture lovers. And I'll click on that. And I have to switch to this Mac. And there it is, there is that folder. So I'm gonna click on it, double click on it and open it. There are all the textures. Now I could select all of these and add them in, but to go quickly here today, I'm just gonna click and select four of them here at the top. Uh, but you can, you can, I've loaded as many as a hundred at a time in here. Um, and then I'm going to say open. And now it's copying the textures into the uh, folder here. And there they are. And it tells me that they were all successfully imported. I'll click OK, close the manager. And now when I come over here and I look at my, um, my categories, here's the one I just added, DIST FS, FX Lovers. Open that up. And there are my textures. And I can select those and apply them to my image now. That's it. Pretty straightforward. So um, create some textures or pick some up. Um, Flypaper textures are the ones that I've used the most, um, and I have a discount code for those. You can get them for 15% off. Um, I've, I've included the, the link and, and code uh, in the documentation on the PO21 site. So um, grab those or pick up Jackie's, uh, she's her great new collection. I need to get that and add it in here myself. Um, but whatever, just have fun with this, and um, that's, that's all there is to it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.